Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am very excited to show you a full VR mod for Starfield. This was dropped just 21 hours ago by VR modder No More Flat. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to install it and how to configure it to get the best out of this game. It is mind blowing. But first, let's have a quick look at some of the features. There's my spaceship. Oh yeah. Ah, that's so cool. Ah, oh, look at this beautiful thing. Hey, Dingus, hurry up. You're going on the spaceship. Oh man, this is so cool. It's to be back. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful in here. What's up, dude? Over. Alright. Let's do the space thing, you know? One is why. Okay. Right, we're going. This looks so cool. Oh, look away, it's a flashbang. What's up, dude? So first things first, we're obviously going to need the game and here I am installing it onto my M.2 which is my fastest SSD. I recommend you download it and install it on your fastest drive. And once we have the game downloaded and installed, it's important that we run it at least once, jump into a game and then we can jump out and that's just to create all the background files that we need for the mod to install. Now guys, I always recommend the flat screen to VR Discord. It is absolutely packed with amazing mods. However, today we're gonna go over to STF General and make sure you've done the STF join. And once we're there, we can select the pin and that pin will take us to No More Flats Patreon. So once we get to No More Flats Patreon, we're gonna pay $3 and that's gonna give us access to the mod and all the files that we require. Now here I am and you can see I have access to the files. So there are actually two things that we need to download. One is the Starfield 2 VR zip and the other is this GitHub which is going to allow us to have joysticks using our motion controllers. Now on this page you can also see some really important points. So OpenVR will be missing some keybinders so make sure you run it in OpenXR which will be virtual desktop. Also make sure that there is no frame generation set in the game. So when we go to game and we set the LSS, make sure you do not select frame generation. It's also important that we play the game in windowed mode. Do not pair it in full screen. So I've downloaded all the files I need. I'm gonna right click my game, go to properties, and I'm gonna to go to installed files. If I push browse, this is where my executable is located. And this is where I'm gonna be dropping the files which I've just downloaded. So if I go over to my downloads folder, I'm gonna open a new window here on the side. And if I go into the compressed document right here, I will see two files. One is for OpenVR and one is for OpenXR. Now I'm using virtual desktop, so I'm gonna be using the OpenXR. But if I'm using Link, then I'll be using the OpenVR. So here I am 
I'm going to go ahead and drag this file in and I'm also going to go ahead and drag in the XR. Those are the two files that I'm going to try. It's important to note that if you have both the OpenVR and OpenXR files in your install, it won't work. Now it's time to install the other file which we downloaded, which is going to give us the thumbsticks as joysticks. So go ahead and install that file. Uh, put it wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's installed, it'll work. Now, once you've done that, I recommend you make a shortcut for the Starfield launcher and we're going to make it on our desktop. And once we've done that, we're going to right click it and we're going to go to properties and from properties, we're going to go to compatibility and then from compatibility, we're going to go and select to run as administrator. And that's going to be the way that we run the game every time. So we're ready to launch the game and I have opened Steam VR through virtual desktop and I've launched the game. But just listen to the following because it is very important. And if you do not do this, you may have a stuttered game like you can see right here. A couple of things, guys, what I highly recommend you do is first launch the game with absolutely the lowest graphics possible and slowly build your way up. That's the way I did it. And that's how I found my happy medium. And that's what works for me. It's going to be different for everybody based on your graphics card and your CPU and your basic rig. Now, ensure you have the following settings. The game has to be played windowed. Make sure you've turned off motion blur, depth of field, V-Sync and frame generation. It's better to have dynamic resolution off, but it might work for you. It's completely up to you. You can push the F11 key to go into the basic mod and you can push F11 to close it. And guys, that's how you do it. If you have any issues or any problems, please drop your questions or queries in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this video has been helpful for you, please consider liking and subscribing. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.